I'm Felicia Maloney, Executive Director of the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc. And if I could just get some of my board members to raise their hand, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. On be and on behalf of distinguished, the distinguished roster and the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc. Board of Directors, and all of our partners, we welcome you. We are delighted by your presence and honored that you joined us for the grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony of the veranda at North Main. The development of this site is a personal labor of love for me, and I'm, and I'm humbled to bring the affordable senior housing facility to the North Columbia community. I graduated from Eau Claire High School just down the street, so this is my community. This building is a great example of the strength in partnerships and the superior outcome of shared ideals. I sincerely thank each and every partner individually and collectively for the role you played in helping us to add another staple in Columbia City Council's Envision Columbia Statement. I have to give a special thanks to my board of directors who unselfishly give of themselves to make the city of Columbia a great place to be. One word describes their commitment, excellence. They demonstrate excellence in their commitment to me, the mission of the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Envision Columbia, and the betterment of our city. As to the Veranda Project, the Columbia Empowerment Zone staff, the Board of Directors, and the integral team have demonstrated a com commitment of excellence and the pursuit of perfection in affordable housing. The veranda represents a result of caring more than some thought wise, risking more than some thought safe, dreaming more than some thought practical, and delivering more than some thought than most thought possible. Thank you Felicia and good morning or good afternoon everyone. Um, as most of you can imagine, um, in order to bring something like this to fruition, that, that you run across many, many obstacles. And Felicia talked about commitment and partnership. And I just want to say thank, thank you to the commitment of the community and the partnership in, in making this a reality today. I uh, especially want to thank Congressman Clyburn, uh, Mayor Benjamin, and, and also Ms. Wilson. Um, city manager. Um, they made themselves available um, to solve many of the difficult problems that, that we had. Um, so I, I really appreciate those times and making themselves available, especially the mayor, whether it was in his office or a coffee in the morning, uh, he always made himself uh, available to do that. Uh, also want to thank Councilman Davis, who's been a part of this from the beginning, and also Councilwoman Devine, who I understand could not uh, be here today. Um, but I would be remiss if I didn't really do a special thank you to the board of the Columbia Empowerment Zone. Uh, as most of you know, or may not know, uh, CZ does not do housing. You would not know that if you looked at this. Um, I remember the early days when coming to talk to them about the concept of the project and they had an open mind um, to listen and understand how they could bring affordable senior housing to Columbia uh, and then we start talking about this crazy thing called low-income housing tax credits. Uh, and they were very patient. They asked all the right questions. They asked the hard questions. Uh, and we went over it several times. And I appreciate their commitment and their partnership uh, in, in getting this, this done. Um, lastly, I really want to say a special thank you to Felicia and Judge McDuffie. Uh, and I know Judge she could not be here today. Uh, but they are two fierce and powerful women who do not take no for an answer. So I really appreciate their partnership and spirit and working on this together. And I appreciate all of you. Thank you. I'll try to keep this moving along. It's, it's warm. I'm Russ McCoy, co-chair of the, the board. And uh, on behalf of the Mildred Resident McDuffie, our chair and the entire board, we want to welcome you today and thank you for joining us for this celebration for the grand opening. As Daryl said, this is a this is a project that's been underway for, in discussion at least, for probably eight years. Uh, 
we tried for a long time to figure out what would be the right business to go on this site. And we, we, we kept running into to roadblocks and, 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 and what was, we were unable to find the kind of business that would truly enhance the neighborhood. We had people that wanted to come here, but we really didn't think it would be a, 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 an enhancement to the neighborhood. So the idea of housing uh, came up, and, and uh, at first, as Daryl said, we, well, we don't, that's not what we do. Uh, but as time went on, we realized that this is probably a great site for the locate for the veranda. And uh, we expect to have probably 75 or more residents here, which is going to add to the vibrancy of the neighborhood. And, and with, with that vibrancy, we hope we can attract more investment because the goal here with the streetscape and everything that's going on up in this corridor, we want to uh, do everything we can to further the, the, the enhancement of, of, of the uh, folks, the life of the folks who live and work here. Uh, so it's a, it's a, this is a complex thing to do, as Daryl said. Uh, you would be surprised, or maybe you wouldn't be, as to how complex it is to, to do a project like this. It takes dozens of people, dozens of, of folks on the, on the team to get this done. And uh, uh, most of, of the, of many of them are sitting right behind me here. Of course, the congressman, mayor, city manager, city council, uh, the folks from Integral have been fan just fantastic. They have been the greatest folks to work with, Daryl and Lindsay and Donnell. And I'm, I'm going to make a mistake if I try to name everybody, but they've just been wonderful to work with and, and uh, uh, made this process, which, as I say, is extremely complicated, uh, manageable. Uh, so we've uh, we, we we undertook this in a, as a as a sort of a well we we weren't sure. How, how, how well we could make this thing work. And as you can see, it's been a tremendous success. Uh, I do want to recognize our board and that they don't, they labor in anonymity and I want to, I want to at least have you see them. So if y'all stand up, I'm not, you probably don't want me to do this, but it's Gretchen Lambert, Mary Sparrow, also known as Ruby, Reggie Bryce, Jamaica Young, we're missing several board members, but turn around so they can see you. <laughs> Thank you all. And, and, and finally, I want to recognize Felicia Maloney. Felicia, come on. This project uh, would never have been done without Felicia's involvement and leadership. Uh, she has spent countless hours devoted to the to this project and to ensure its successful completion. Uh, and there's, there's no way we can adequately recognize the effort that she has put in. Uh, but we do want to give you this, Felicia. And, and you all need to know that what she, what, what, she, what she has done here has been nothing short of a miracle, the amount of work that she has put in. So this is a large part due to Felicia's tenaciousness, persistence. Uh, Felicia, we can't thank you. Thank you all very much. Let me begin by uh, saying, telling my wife, I'm going to adhere to her instructions uh, to take notice of the heat and not be too long. So let me First of all, thank this board. Thank you all so much for staying together. As many of you know, this project or uh, this entire empowerment zone is more than 10 years old. It is one of the few empowerment zones established around the country that is still in existence. One of the few people who had the vision uh, to really do what empowerment zones were designed to do. And in just a few words, Mr. Mayor and members of council, I have been saying all over the country that projects like this one are signs of the greatness of the country. We don't have to make this country great again. This country is great.
What we've got to do is make this country's greatness accessible and affordable by all of its citizens. And that's what this project is about, making housing for senior citizens accessible and affordable. I was reading a little piece last night of someone uh, talking about uh, being having something accessible. And he used a little analogy. So there's one thing for a designation on the other side of a chasm to be affordable. But if it's not a bridge or some walkway to go across, being affordable doesn't mean much if it ain't accessible. And if it is accessible, a lot of people talk about what's accessible to people, build all kinds of facilities, and then price it out of reach of everybody who need it. So we just can't have it accessible, but it must be affordable. And it can't not just be affordable, it has to be accessible. So congratulations to this board, to this mayor, to this council, to this community for making one more project accessible and affordable. Thank you. As I always have, I will take the lead from Congressman Clyburn and I will keep it brief in this heat. Uh, it's an exciting day to be in North Columbia, to be in 29203. If we think of the history of what we've been trying to do on this site for a number of years, late night meetings, some very frank conversations with our neighbors and other stakeholders out here, and to see a vision finally come into fruition right here on this site because of the collective acts of the entire community, it's a big deal and it's a big day here in North Columbia. I do want to thank all the same people that Congressman Clyburn uh, uh, congratulated and thanked in, in, uh, in no particular order, but this incredible empowerment zone board, the CEZ Inc. Uh, is doing amazing work right here in Columbia, South Carolina that's not happening anywhere else in this country. It's important to note that, uh, that post the establishment of empowerment zones and then the closing of empowerment zones, this is one of the only places, if not the only place in the entire country, that's pivoted and decided still to be a force for good to make great things happen here in our community. We're so thankful uh, to this entire board and, and, and very much thankful to Felicia uh, for her incredible leadership. Felicia just won't go away, y'all. Uh, uh, if she wants it, she wants it, she's gonna make it happen. Hook or crook, she's gonna make something happen and it's gonna happen for the better of this community. So I wanna thank her and thank, of course, uh, all, all the team, uh, Teresa Wilson and, and her entire staff uh, up and down for making this happen. You can't make things happen without having great partners. Now we're going to hear, we heard from Daryl, we're going to hear from um, Edward Perry, but Integral Group uh, is, uh, is a first class organization um, working across this country to deliver high quality housing uh, to people across a, a, a America and to have them uh, putting up a marquee project here uh, in 29203 is a big deal for Columbia and hope it's uh, not the last one. Uh, we need to find more opportunities to do more together with this incredible um, organization. Uh, I do want you, as you leave here, and as, as some of you will probably call me later on, fussing about uh, the, the axles or your tires or something because of the construction along North Main Street, to understand that this is a piece of the puzzle. This is one piece of the puzzle. As we look at the, the, the redevelopment that, that so many of you have asked for, and Mr. Davis has so ably led to come here to North Main Street, North Columbia for so many years. Uh, we're looking at a combination of, of, of Tiger Grant funding that Mr. Clyburn advocated for uh, of local uh, penny dollars that we're all contributing through through the penny. State money and city money, significant funding that Mr. Davis has procured for Hyatt Park across the street, investments in, in Greenview Park and El Earlwood Park. This is a part of a, of, a, of, a, of a strategy, pair funding and map funding, allowing people to uh, to weatherize their homes and stay in their homes, um, a well over a million dollars of CDBG funds and others dedicated to those programs. 
a lot's happening out here. And it's because of a collaborative approach, approach we're all doing together, but requires leadership. I want to thank, again, our staff. I want to thank, again, Mr. Davis and, and, and the others for making the fantastic things happen out here in 29203. I've spent the majority of my adult life, uh, from law school to marrying my, my beautiful wife to birthing our babies here in 29203. And it is, um, it, it's amazing to see what's happening here. And we can't see, wait to see so much more happen because of the leadership of those of you right in front of us. Thank you. May God bless you. This, um, this project um, is a result of the seed that Congressman Clyburn planted and brought to Columbia. Everyone that has been receiving credit right now rightly deserves it. Felicia, the leader, the staff, and the community that decided that they were going to partner with this project. And it wasn't a slam dunk. I think we did the right thing. We, we had discussions and um, were bold enough to get on a bus and go to Atlanta and look at the, project, the product. And that is the selling point, to know what you're getting and making sure that it meets the needs of the community. One of the promises of the empowerment zone was, and still is, to make lives better. And I wish you were with me yesterday. I was summoned to City Hall by a senior citizen that had a very frank discussion with me about affordable senior housing. And that is real not just across this country, but here in Columbia. And so this project, as I was asked and responded to, meets that need, but it's only one seed. And we're totally committed to making sure that this corridor lives up to the promise. And this is an example. This product is an example of what is expected in terms of quality and what is expected in terms of meeting the needs of the people who live here and meeting the needs of the people who will travel this corridor. Quality products, quality lifestyles, and a quality, safe place to live. And so we thank everybody for their help on this. And that help will continue because the promise and the needs of this area, as the mayor has stated, continues and, and we're going to continue to be partners in that and we can't do it without you and so thank you and we appreciate you good afternoon what another great great day for north columbia i cannot begin to tell you what an absolute genuine pleasure it is for me to represent my colleagues on richmond county council and the citizens that we serve you know north columbia is very dear to me um, it's been a part of the district that i represent for my entire time as a county council member. And I tell you, it is my pride joy. You know, my involvement in this project was kind of interesting. You know, everybody talk about Felicia. You know, Felicia um, shot me an email and said, Ms. Livers, we need some help. We got a little gap. Can y'all help us with it? Um, so I saw her about, you know, a day later, you know. No, it was the same day, as a matter of fact. Later the same day, she go, did you get my email? I said, yes, ma'am, I'm, 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 I'm working on it. Then I saw about two days later, that's when she saw me again, and she goes, y'all moving on it now? <laughs> so I knew right away that I, I needed to get my colleagues really involved and, 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 and do something here. So it's so important to understand the significant advantages of, of collaborating and having partnerships. And so indeed, um, I asked my colleagues to support this project, um, give Felicia what she asked for, and I can tell you about unanimous vote, my colleagues agreed to that, um, partnership, collaboration. And we will continue to do that, um, as we've done with North Main, um, uh, in terms of streetscaping and so forth. And it's, like I said, another great day for North Columbia. But believe me, there are many, many coming. Thank you so very much. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Egbert Perry, and I'm probably the person least deserving to be standing in front of you today because everybody else up here actually did something. 
Um, I'm the chairman and CEO of the Integral Group, and so we are the developers for the project. And we considered ourselves, and still do, fortunate, honored, and privileged to be here, to have had the opportunity to partner with you. Uh, you heard all of the partnership participants and any type of project that's done in urban communities represents a public-private partnership. Whether you actually have a public-private partnership agreement or not, if you're doing it properly, then you should be partnering with the public sector, the community, and all of the stakeholders that are committed to good outcomes. So our company is 26 years old, and we are committed to creating great communities for people across a broad range of incomes, and that's what we've done for those 26 years. Um, I'm, I said I'm the least deserving to be up here because, Mr. Mayor, thank you for your leadership, vision, and support. And I hope you all recognize that there was one woman so far and all these men, and who do you think led it? Okay, so that speaks for itself. Um, but I am standing here, but I'm very clear that the integral group is a lot of people, 300 people in the organization, and the people who actually did the work, made this happen, are here, and I want to single out some of them. So the president of Integral's Community Development Operation is Vicki Lundy Wilbon. Vicki, where are you? Oh, she's in the back, back there. You, you heard from Daryl, who heads up the senior division of the company. And Daryl looks to Lindsay, Trey, and Donnell as three individuals on the de development team. And then we have a whole management team that will manage the community uh, in life moving forward. And so all of these people and everyone in Atlanta want to say thank you very much again for the privilege and the opportunity to participate in this project. And we hope it is the first of more to come. Thank you very much. Congressman, Mayor, Council Members, what a privilege it is to be here on a beautiful day in South Carolina. Uh, my name is John Tyler. I'm from SC Housing. I am not Benita Shropshire. In her absence, she sends her very warm greetings, and I think we can receive those in an even warmer fashion. What a beautiful transformation to a beloved area of Columbia. The vision of our agency, SE Housing, is very important and near and dear to, I think, all of us out here today to bring safe, decent opportunities for safe, decent, and affordable housing for all South Carolinians. That vision, that mission is a daunting task. However, it is much easier to fulfill with wonderful partners. And on this development, on this project, there have been so many wonderful partners, whether it was the Columbia Empowerment Zone, the Integral Group, the City of Columbia, the county, the contractors who all remained committed to making this happen, and the very folks who cheered it on every step of the way. So Felicia, thank you for dreaming Thank you to all of you for caring, and congratulations on delivering a beautiful place to call home. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Ty Ziegler. I'm here on behalf of the Hyatt Park and Keenan Terrace neighborhoods. Uh, first, I just say welcome uh, to our neighborhoods. Thank you all for coming. Um, we are very excited uh, about this project here. Um, uh, I really want to thank the, the people everybody's already thanked, but especially the Columbia Empowerment Zone, the Intel Group, and um, the mayor and the council for uh, making this uh, project a reality. Um, we're excited about having affordable, inclusive housing here in North Columbia. We're excited about the activity this project will bring to the area. Uh, and we look forward to being a, uh, you know, a great neighbor to a, um, a building and a, and a group that's gonna help make our neighborhood uh, 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 prosperous and affordable. Uh, thank you all for coming. Good afternoon. So I'm the last speaker, I think, before we can get out of this heat and go inside and see what everyone wants to see. So I'll be brief. Um, I know it's already been said what a special occasion today is as we celebrate the grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony of the veranda at North Main. The veranda at North Main is symbolic of the city's vision statement, which is entitled Envision Columbia. The overall goal of the mayor and city council members with Envision Columbia is that by 2036, Columbia has captured the new American dream. 
While embracing our 250 year rich history, we enthusiastically welcome the future. So quite frankly, this is part of that future. Some of the, two of the focus areas that the council has um, are empowering our residents and enhancing Columbia's neighborhoods. And so that represents all that the veranda at North Main is. The veranda at North Main has set a visionary standard for affordable housing in Columbia. Affordable housing helps to build stronger, more viable neighborhoods, as we know, and it is also a catalyst for changing the perception of what affordable housing can be and the positive impact it can have on our community. So I want to thank the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Felicia, the board members there, our mayor, our city council for their vision, and all the other partners who have made this a reality, including the integral group. Um, we, they've all contributed to make this dream of affordable housing a reality for Columbia, South Carolina residents. We will create our desired future and we will continue our success. With that, it's now my honor and pleasure to invite all of our speakers, as well as representatives from our, rep our partner agencies and community leaders for the official ribbon cutting ceremony. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.